I saw a lot of messages and questions from you guys about why a DevOps engineer needs to know Python. It seems like there are only vague answers to that on the internet. So with this video, I want to give you clear answers to the following questions. Why is Python so popular in general? Why is Python demanded in DevOps specifically? What is Python used for in DevOps, giving you specific examples? How much Python knowledge you need to have as a DevOps engineer? And finally, how to get started with Python. What is Python and why is it so popular? First of all, Python is a programming language, just like Java or JavaScript. Python compared to other languages has two very big advantages. First of all, it's easy to learn. It has a simple syntax and it's very easy to set up and get started with. For example, compared to Java, where you need some initial configuration before you can even start your application. But it's equally or even more powerful than Java. Now, what makes a language powerful or how can I say that Python is more powerful? Well, that comes from the ecosystem, which means libraries and modules that Python developers themselves develop, but also external developers create and maintain. So the more people adopt the language, the more powerful it gets because new libraries and so new functionalities get added to it. And the second advantage is that it's flexible. Now, what does a flexible mean in this case? What makes a language flexible? It is easy to mold to your wishes. So you are not limited or restricted by the language specifics like syntax or data types or some other constraints. You can extend Python widely. And as one of the results of this flexibility, Python also became a multi-purpose language, meaning it is used for many different categories like data science, web development, machine learning, and for DevOps to write automation scripts. Now, if you check the DevOps engineer job descriptions, you will see that more than 90% of them include Python as a requirement. So why is Python so popular and demanded for DevOps jobs? Why not a different programming or scripting language, for example? Actually, it's because of the characteristics I mentioned before, that it's flexible, simple, and easy to read, yet very powerful. Now let's get more specific. First of all, Python does not need to be compiled and built like Java, for example, which makes developing in Python fast and painless. So it's perfectly suited for simple scripts to execute simple tasks. Second, Python is very lightweight. It does not require a huge runtime like Java does. So it's super easy to install and run. The third reason is that Python syntax is very simple. It almost reads like pseudocode. Now, why is that important? Because it makes it easy for people who didn't write the script themselves to read and understand the code. So they can also work on it. And this makes Python scripts much more maintainable compared to bash scripts, for example. And compared to bash scripts or PowerShell scripts, Python is platform independent, meaning it can run the same on Linux, Windows or macOS. And finally, another reason is that Python has many great libraries to automate DevOps tasks. And again, it's because of its large community. Libraries are great because it means that instead of writing everything from scratch, you can make use of other people's code and build on that. So these are basically all the reasons why Python is one of the primary technologies used for DevOps tasks. Now let's see specific examples of what Python is used for in DevOps. You as a DevOps engineer will be working with many different tools and trying to combine them. That's really the specifics of a DevOps job compared to others. You need to know a lot of tools to build DevOps processes like CI CD, infrastructure preparation and management, monitoring, and so on. To give you some specific examples, automatically update Jira ticket information after Jenkins build has run successfully or automatically trigger Jenkins jobs on some events that happen during software development process. 
sending notifications to right team members on specific events when something happens in the system, in the deployment environment, or even CI CD pipeline, like build failures or application errors, etc. Maybe doing regular backups of your Nexus or Jenkins servers or your application databases, cleaning up old Docker images from the servers to free up server space, etc. So these are examples of tasks that DevOps engineer may need to do at work. And these things are complex with lots of small details and lots of repetitive tasks. So you at some point would want to make your own life easier and to make these processes more efficient and make less mistakes. So you would want to automate these tasks. So more automation and less manual work for you. In addition to that, you may need or want to create automation scripts or small programs for your team, for developers and testers and operations, etc., to solve some of their problems. And this could be a really cool part of your job, actually. I know I am excited when I can create programs that automate stuff that developers or testers or even IT project managers have been doing manually in the company the whole time. And now you come to the rescue and make their lives easier too. So now you see how useful Python knowledge could be for a DevOps engineer and how it can help you in your DevOps job, but also make you more valuable at your work and for your entire team. Now let's look at the question, how much programming and Python knowledge you need to have as a DevOps engineer. You do not have to know all the details of the language and you do not need to be able to design or implement huge and complex software applications or create some fancy websites with it. What you need is to be able to automate tasks that you or your team members would otherwise do manually, like monitoring, doing backups and cleanups, etc. To be able to do that, you'll need to be familiar with the basics of Python, things like the basic syntax, the data types, being able to write simple logic, knowing how to use modules and libraries, etc. There are a lot of advanced programming concepts like object-oriented programming, inheritance, or parallel programming, as well as Python web frameworks. And these are nice to know things, but they're not essential to your job. What's more important is that you should be comfortable with package management and integrating third-party libraries or working with APIs for external applications like cloud providers and so on. So now you might be asking yourself how you can get started with learning Python. Well, I actually have a free complete Python course on my channel in which you can learn the basics of programming in Python, like syntax and data types, using modules and packages, etc. But after you've learned the basics of programming in Python, it's important to apply this knowledge and work on real DevOps tasks. So you can research some examples online yourself and try to automate stuff with Python to get some first hands-on experience in that. Or I also have a complete DevOps bootcamp, an educational program in which you learn all the technologies you need to know as a DevOps engineer, which also includes a module for automation with Python with several cool real life demo projects to automate some of the most common DevOps tasks like application and server monitoring, data backups, cloud automation tasks with AWS and so on. So if you're interested, you can check that out as well. So I hope this video has helped you to get a clear understanding of why you need Python as a DevOps engineer. And I hope I clarified some of your questions. With that, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.